Analysts say there are limits to everything. And to them, a lot of content creators and skit makers are going beyond limits of common sense and confines of morality. And sadly, some of these pranks and content they add are no longer fun for the people. There are what we call jokes gone too far. And there are, they have legal, they have social and economic implications as well. For a fact that people want to go viral, they are seeking attention. Some of them need actual psychiatric evaluations for the kind of pranks that they create. They are not okay. The original idea of creating content is to attain originality. But because of the money attached to it, people now go outside the region of that originality to create rubbish just for a clickbait, to attract clicks, to make money. That's just, it's, for me, it's madness. If you look at some of the content, some of the heightened situations, people now, you want to go and call the police, you want to go and do something, somebody will now come out and say, no, it's just content. And I, I don't understand it. The aim of content creation seems to be defeated, as some of the content in recent times fall short of entertaining, informing and educating the public. Rather, they are expensive, traumatic and raises anxiety in the society. What we are seeing today in Nigeria is something we cannot explain. Where people fake a lot of things, where people create false content just to deceive people. I don't know what they want to achieve by that. Where you try to put a, a child, a child, in a bag, first, it's a form of abuse. So these are legal implications. Child abuse is involved. There's a criminal element of it. Abduction of a child, whether, willful or unwill, or whether willingly or unwillingly, it's wrong. So certain pranks are not acceptable. They are totally unacceptable. Where you call your parents and tell them you've been kidnapped, the first thing a parent will do is to call law enforcement agencies to see how they can get you. And then you tell them it's a prank. That's a joke gone too far. I think a time will come where journalism has to be more regulated. It's also, I think it's also criminal. The law should also step in. If somebody does that kind of thing, you raise anxiety, you raise fear, then you say it's a prank. The person should be arrested and punished accordingly. The general view remains that pranks and skits should go within the limits of common sense and moral values. They should be able to teach good lessons, hence the need for relevant authorities to regulate what goes on social media space, especially in Nigeria. In Oka, Chinyere Fesi Okoye, NTA News.